I mean no disrespect to anybody, victims, victims' families. We're here for truth. Disclaimer! Everything in this video and all other videos and every case on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. Not based on fact. It is just my opinion. My interpretation of the cards. I encourage each and every one of you to do your own research and form your own opinion. After all, I'm just a blonde throwing cards. In the last reading, we talked about, or the cards talked about, or it was about SG, right? And a lot of crap came out in that. A lot of things about his connections. I talked about that $700,000 allegedly he owes, and I say allegedly. And it felt like it had something to do with that cryptocurrency company that he wears the hat for and Hexcoin that's exactly what it is it's a form of crypto um, just like Bitcoin or whatever and there was some shady shit that went on that's why his brother I think it's his brother is serving time right now and in that reading it felt like he somebody got ripped off and the, the poop trickled downhill because I think the brother did not have immediate family and it trickled down to SG and his family and I thought and it felt like that that may have been a motive in this case now I want to dig a little bit further because when asked about Kaylee she it's almost like she had some kind of involvement with her father with it. Um, I want to know exactly how much knowledge she had. I'm going to be looking at stuff like that. And why did she have so many bank accounts? Someone her age, early 20s, to have some, so much. So, I'm um, doing portions of the True Crime Oracle. We're going to see what comes up here. I just kind of want to get a feel for this Hexcoin and, well, Kaylee's involvement. Okay, first card out is Health Risk. Not healthy. Dismemberment. No came out in a reverse, which means a yes. It's almost like... Right off the bat, I get that business was an unhealthy situation for Kaylee. As it fell and tore apart. As it fell apart. Was dismembered. That hex coin, right? Um, the dismemberment and people that lost money and that is the yes okay I'll move these up later see what else comes out what else please anything else oh <laughs> oh my god Oh my god. I know this is early on in the video, but I can't help myself. I shit you not. Boom. Cryptocurrency. Boom. There it is. Inside. Inside job. Hiding out retired in the reverse. So this is saying like somebody who was supposed to be retired, living the good life, no activity, 
was on the down low. Really, it was like a fake retirement. New World Order. That is talking about a new way of life. That is rulership. New World Order and cryptocurrency in the same line. No, thank you. Okay, let's get another portion of this deck. Okay. She was on the in she was on the inside of it. Yeah. I hate to say this. This is why I, you know, I mean no respect, disrespect to Kaylee because she lost her life because of this. But she was brought into it. Hey, you can make all this money with this cryptocurrency. You know, this is going to be the new world order. And I think she was convinced, she was told that this is going to be the new world order. Um, cash, the dollar, the euro, all that's going to go away and everything's going to be universal with one world money, one world order, cryptocurrency. Um, that's what I'm seeing. She was told that this is going to be the new way of life. Mountains. Oh, this side of the deck really wants to talk. Okay. These should have been upright. Dating, treason, and ritual. There was some kind of daily routine, daily interaction. Dating could be, like with oracle cards, you got to take them loosely. Um loosely related it could be figuratively but somebody was dating or in partnership close partnership on a daily basis with people okay and treason is a betrayal okay so there is some kind of betrayal it makes me go to lover boy think of lover boy was he involved in this that might be an interesting question to ask here in the future, whether this reading or another reading, mountains is remote, isolated, um, and an ops. It could also be indicating of an obstacle. Evidence in the reverse almost feels like evidence being hidden because of how big this crypto is. Hollow Earth and honest politician. Um, this is telling me you can't afford to be honest or you get swallowed up. So there's something here. And there might be even an honest politician, but I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'm feeling more like that is, if you, they're saying, you know, that evidence is hiding by a, somebody who may be viewed as an honest person. Hiding evidence. High connections. Or somebody is hiding evidence from this politician. Honest politician. But, the, but the, I'm going with my first gut. That what I'm hearing is. In this business, if you're honest, you, you get swallowed up. Okay. Oh, there's only... Okay. I shit you not. Here's another I shit you not moment. Parental figure. Boom. Great reset. You know... That, I mean, that, that business fell on its face. And there's a, a part of this big reset. And I feel like the big reset involves 
getting even. Settle. The Great Reset is settling a score. So let's move these cards up. Okay. Somebody settling a score. Somebody lost their shirt in this big scheme. You know, everybody could say what they want to say. And I will always stick by my impressions of multiple motives. And the multiple motives involved a group of people that it was like these, all these people with all these different motives, there's some kind of connectivity into one big ruling group of people. Okay? And because there was connectivity connected to one another and the the people executing justice their form of justice was the same group of people saying well we got this one we got to deal with we got that one to deal with we have Kaylee to deal with we have to deal with Maddie we have Ethan over here and I still feel that um um, Xana was collateral damage. I really do. I feel like Xana was collateral damage. Um, she had to, but there's still a question about the other two surviving roommates. I'm going to take another look at that, I promise. Probably in another video. But that's not for this video. This one's about Kaylee, the motive. Her connectivity is SG involved, not directly involved, but his own business practices, partly to blame. For a long time, I thought, even my cards were indicating lover boy, lover's quarrel, not wanting to let Kaylee go. I'm not still not ruling that out. But... More like, how do I put this? Um, without accusations. More like a sec, a, a secondary motive, a personal motive, a personal grievance. There's the main grievance, and then Loverboy's like, "Well, I got a grievance with Kaylee also," and kind of intertwined it. That's kind of what I feel. Um, okay, I want to get a major arcana for the overall energy about Kaylee and her father's business that he was engaged in. The cryptocurrency. We'll just say in, involved in the cryptocurrency. And that's what I think this is. I want a confirmation if it was had anything to do with her passing. And I'm getting a strong yes. I believe it was. But let's dig a little bit more. You know, we always got to dig. We got to dig. Acquiring minds want to know. The chariot and the star. This was faded. And one of the questions I was thinking about was, what if... Kaylee would never have gone to Moscow for that visit. Um, this is, she was, there was some kind of guidance here. I almost feel fated. She, tra yeah, she traveled following Following a certain guidance. Um, the chariot has something else here. Uh, 
Oh, she was not in control. She was not in control of her des destiny. That's what I'm feeling. Even though these are upright. I read intuitively. I almost feel the reversed energy. That she, somebody else was in control of the direction in which her life was moving. And she was, she had these big plans. You know, she was starting a new job. She had these big plans. She was moving out of the area. And somebody stopped it. Okay. So this is, um, this feels like all about her plans moving forward. You know, she had all these bank accounts. She, she got, she got that new car. I just heard it. That new vehicle of hers, what was it, a Land Rover or something, was bought on somebody else's dime. Put um, a pin in that one. Put a pin in that one. It's like somebody who lost their shirt, who lost a, a ton of money in hex coin, bought that car for her. Allegedly speaking, for entertainment purposes only. That is not based on fact. That is totally based on intuition. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm misinterpreting what I'm seeing, I'm misinterpreting it. Happens to every single reader. Okay? If you know, if there is a reader out there in real life or on YouTube or whatever that says they're right 100% of the time, I would click off their videos because they're lying to your face right there. Okay? I'm not afraid to admit that I was wrong. I felt like... Um, Princess Catherine, Kate Middleton. At first, I didn't see cancer or anything, but then it came out that she's got it. I'm still questioning that, because um, I think Diana. When I did Diana, she said some kind of news is going to come out. It's going to be fake, but that's going to be another reading. But my whole point is, we can misinterpret energy. Okay, we're human. And I'm one of them readers that I'm not afraid to admit it. Some readers, they have such a bloated ego. Oh, I'm never wrong. If I'm wrong, I will admit it. Okay. Let's see what this is about Kaylee and her Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords. That there screams part of this was crime of passion. I shit you not about this one. Ten of Swords. The ultimate ending. The ultimate betrayal. Okay. Oh my god. Seven of Swords. Something stolen. Five of Cups. There's two energies here. Let me say that now. I'm picking up two. I'm picking up two motives on Kaylee. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of fucking swords. Three of Cups. Holy crap. Ten of Wands. Let's take a look under the deck real quick. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, King of Swords, 
and eight of swords and one more because this is i saw it five of pentacles and i was felt to take it okay let me move my coffee We've got a lot going on in this spread right now. We have a situation, a backstory here that, you know, somebody, she had, this Queen of Pentacles is looking at something, investigating something, or researching. She's nurturing something. This is, she's got her Master Symbol, her Ace of Pentacles in her hands. She's beyond the opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles, something being offered to her. It's in her hands. And she's looking at it. She's nurturing it. She's cultivating it. And part of, and as she's cultivating it, she's moving on. She's seeing this, at an opportunity here, to leave something behind and, she, and cultivate her own future. That's her job. Her job was taking her away from daddy, family, siblings, lover boy. And she, she was all ready to move forward with her life. And this whole thing with the business and college, she was done with it. But then somebody made a decision. King of Swords. Very decisive decision. This is, I get like somebody in a place of authority. I just feel that. Um, yeah, could it be her analyzing and planning things out? Absolutely. But I feel somebody in a place of authority that gave her a big fat no and was keeping her trapped. And there was a decision made saying, uh, no, you're not getting away. You are not getting away. Because I lost. Five of Pentacles. Um, there was a loss of coin. Loss of money. Somebody being abandoned and left out of the cold. And I could take this in two ways. And the King of Swords is in these readings often come up as one of the perpetrators so somebody here said, um, no, you're not leaving me. You're not leaving me. So, I'm seeing a couple things here. She wanted to leave everything behind. Okay, everything. She wanted to leave the business behind. She would, Even her romantic connections, everything. The life that she knew it. Oh my gosh. Another instance of new world order, new life, new way of doing things. Great reset. She was hitting the reset button on her life. She had promise. She had a destination. She had places to go. She had a goal. She was moving towards that goal. She had a destination. Okay. That's the backstory. In the heart of the situation, you know, there was somebody very angry about her new life goals. She was following, she was ex definitely expressing a lot of self love. And she was following a path that spoke to her heart. While somebody was really angry about it and determined to stop it. It's like somebody is angrily racing towards that Ace of Cups. Okay. And this has a lot to do with somebody feeling betrayed 
we have two things here. And I gotta yell at my dog. Daisy, leave the kitty alone. Kitty's growling. Daisy! Kitty, you can share the bed. Luna, you can share the bed. I think Daisy's just trying to give her kisses and Kitty's like, F this. Nope. Not having it. Daisy! Daisy! Okay, Luna's leaving. Anyhow, we have a betrayal here. And uh, this is this is the energy around it. It's like something coming to a very painful ending. And somebody feeling lied to and cheated. Now this could go in two directions. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing dual here. Dual energy. And that's why I'm saying I think Kaylee had a lot stacked against her. Multiple. I'm feeling like there's a couple motives. And somebody was involved at some level because they had a personal issue. Personal. Not just business. Personal issue with Kaylee. Not saying any names. You tell me who that is. Okay? But, make no mistake, SG... At, um, at the vigil or the funeral for Kaylee really gave somebody some odd looks. If looks could kill, that person would be would have fall, fallen to the ground. Dead as a doornail. Okay? But, like I said, when I said, oh my God, this is stealing. Somebody felt stolen. And I think this is, this here... And I'm going to put it out there. Somebody losing their life because of a theft. Now, we have somebody here that's very sorrowful. This is an energy that's leaving. Um, and I'm going to put it out there. I feel this is more SG, having regrets of getting involved with Hex, of having regrets over the loss and the theft, per se. Just saying. I think he, he somebody, he, he may have tried to cut corners with somebody. And... The energy, the energy that I'm picking up here is indicating like him saying, well, we're going to get, I'm going to give this to Kaylee. She really wants that, that vehicle, you know, but money's good. Money's rolling. We'll get that money back and I could pay my investors, but it feels like, especially with this five of pentacles, that didn't happen. Why didn't that happen? That was because of his brother doing fraudulent activity, ending up in jail. And I'm not convinced that Kaylee knew. She might have, she might not have. She, but altogether, she just wanted away from the area. She wanted to reset her life um, in every single area and every single aspect of her life she wanted to start life over again she, yeah you could say oh how could you know she's young but even at that young age i think she saw herself going down a wrong path so she was hitting that reset button she got this golden opportunity but somebody stopped her okay A sense of betrayal. Could that have also come from family members? Because she was abandoning the family business? Or somebody feeling abandoned because 
They're in hot water with people and Kaylee's jumping ship. Maybe. But I can't say that for certain because out of all the parents, a parental figure here is very, very vocal more than anybody. Okay, just saying. But my issue is so sold on the narrative of Brian Koberger. But I think that's to take the heat off of his own illegal dealings. And I'm telling you, there's illegal dealings. Allegedly speaking, for entertainment purposes only. That's just my opinion. My opinion is that there is. It's not based on fact. There's no proof of that. No. Absolutely no proof that he did anything wrong. But intuitively, my intu intuition, my gut feeling, okay, we'll leave it at that. And so, and the reason why I say this, because she left. She's walking away from everything. She was in search of her ninth cup, wish fulfillment, her own goals and dreams. And not abiding by somebody else's agenda. She had, Kaylee had her own agenda. And she felt really good about it. Now here's where things get a little bit sticky. Okay. King of Cups. Kaylee's Perception perspective on things very emotionally mature for her age um, but she's looking at things from full heart space but a lot of turbulence she's seeing all the emotional turbulence around her um, the king of cups could also be representative of a father figure somebody that she loved and respected And loved her back. She could be looking at SG with total love, admiration, respect. Um, but she's all. But there's a lot of troubled waters around them. She saw that. She's like, there's a lot of troubled waters around my father. She may have not have understood it at the time. And but. There is a lot of tongue wagging, truth, and I feel like double-edged sword being cut out. This feels like in the environment, the truth coming out, okay? It feels like... This could also be new ideas. And this is somebody who has made who is at the beginning stages of planning some course of action in somebody in the environment. Planning a course of action, and it's kind of funny, it's a sword. Somebody holding a knife. Just saying. Hopes and fears celebrating. I feel like that Kaylee, you know, she enjoyed her friendship. She went to Moscow in order to have some, some good mm. family time, or family time, because Maddie was like family, like a sister to her, okay? I feel like uh, she went to Moscow to enjoy her friends, have some quality time with her friends, before she left. Um, she didn't want it to be the end of her friendships, but there's this element of missing I'm going to miss you. 
because I could pair these two up together as well. A little bit of sorrow, sorrow and happiness. This is something I would interpret as bittersweet. You know, she's going to be missing her friends, missing her friends, but yet celebrating her future. But then it beca things became very difficult. Somebody had a very difficult time accepting this, this departure of Kaylee. That's why I'm saying there's two sides to this, two, two motives, people wanting to stop her. Somebody felt like, one person felt like their heart was being ripped out of their chest. Another person felt like their heart being ripped out of their wallet. Those are your two motives, folks. That's what was going on. And and this is particularly more what was going on with Kaylee. So how would I interpret this energy is Kaylee was leaving that business. Kaylee wanted out. Um... I think that there are a lot of accounts in Kaylee's name. And I do want to dig into that. Why were there so many accounts in Kaylee's name? Let's clear the table, at least, of the tarot. And instead of wasting your time and shuffling the cards 20 times... I'm going to get another deck out. We'll get this one out. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to ask a few questions before I conclude this reading. So there, that's what was motivated. That, that's what put, uh, she like had a double target on her back, Kaylee. Um, was she doing any kind of accounting or anything like that? I'm curious. I don't know what she went to school for or what kind of job she was taking on when she was leaving. Um, but I see Kaylee crunching numbers behind a desk. A really rich looking desk. It's like a deep mahogany or something like that. Not not exactly walnut. It had a reddish, reddish tone. It has like, that's why I think it's mahogany because it has like a reddish tone to the wood. I'm just curious. And it doesn't feel like it's her desk. Um, it feels like a study or some kind of home office type of situation. I'm seeing some bookshelves. Um, so I'm kind of wondering if she was involved in helping her dad crunch the numbers. Maybe doing some of the bookkeeping. Maybe not necessarily doing transactions, but doing some bookkeeping. That's why I was wondering if she had anything to do with accounting. If you know, comment below. Okay. Okay, can you shed light on all these bank accounts for Kaylee, please? Four cups. Death card. Seven of Swords. Again. Temperance. Immediately I get cooking the books. The world. Um, world event. Um, worldwide transactions. 
something being overlooked, a factor being overlooked that caused some kind of ending, a change, something came to an end because of something being overlooked. And because there's the robbery, the thieving, the stealing, the sneaking around, um, all the bank accounts. Temperance, mixing, combining, create, creation, world, the world. This is, a, this is something that is not talked about very much, even in other tarot readings. It's been mentioned. Um, I've seen comments from viewers question about or mention that she had all these various bank accounts. But this is some this is something that is being ignored in this case or just not given the attention that it needs or that it deserves. And the basis of those bank accounts was stole, stolen stealing. Um cooking the books. Seven of wands. Blocking. Um, defensive. There is some battle that is being overlooked. There's the Empress. There she is. And that defensive wounds also. I wasn't trying to look into her passing, but this is saying there are cooked books that led to her passing. Family business. Ten of Cups. The devil. Deception. Lies. Fear. Being bound. To something something really negative. And three of swords. So once again, I'm getting this of course multiple motives, but this was about her bank accounts. Something proved to be disappointing about an ending. And very guarding and protecting something here. And that's and people are overlooking it. Um, she's ignoring it. This could also be her being a little defensive, like, I don't want to accept this. But whatever it was, there was an ending to her abundance and her way of life. Because of dead center... Family lies and deception. Family stealing. And somebody was really angry. And there's a lot of illegal dealings here. There's a lot of lies about the books. I told you, the books are being cooked. And it was a very disappointing ending, a heartbreaking ending as a result. Her passing is mentioned in this here. So I can't ignore that. But. Yes. That put a target on her. Because she helped cook the books. I can't make this up. She helped cook the books. And folks. I wanted to know. What was her involvement. If the family business. Because of that last reading, here it is. She cooked the books. And that, folks, is where I am dropping the mic.